Unfortunately, it's April Fool's Day, and I cannot think of a single better way to celebrate than by revisiting the biggest joke of a Sims pack of all time, My First Pet Stuff. So if you're not familiar with the lore of My First Pet Stuff, let me take you all the way back to 2017 when cats and dogs first came out. This was obviously a very big day for us Simmers because we had been wanting pets in The Sims 4 for years. We were so excited, we had dogs now, and you could paint them. The cats could jump on the fridge, like these were all things that were a huge deal when it first came out. And then you fast forward a couple months later and they release my first pet stuff. This is arguably one of, if not the most, controversial Sims packs they've ever made because my first pet stuff added a bunch of pet things. The main feature and big selling point was the rodents. It came with like pet rats that you could have. And then it obviously also added some new builds and cast items. And the controversy lies in these because it felt like half of the pack was pet clothing, like shirts and sweaters for dogs. And then in build mode, there was some new pet bowls, there was some pet beds, there was a cat tree. But if you didn't have cats and dogs, you couldn't access the pet clothing. And you could have the cat tree, you could put it in your house, but you didn't have cats, so you couldn't do anything with it. It was almost kind of offensive how they released this $40 expansion pack, and then a few months later they were like, oh, we've got more things, but that'll be $10 extra. And then they were selling this pack that if you you didn't buy the other pack, you couldn't really even use everything in it. As if the Sims 4's DLC model isn't bad enough already, they're making DLC for DLC, like an expansion upon an expansion pack, it was it was bad. And obviously people were really upset about this when it first came out. A few years down the line, I kind of have some complicated feelings about my first pet stuff, because I still stand by the cats and dogs stuff being a ridiculously stupid decision. But also, after playing with rodents a bunch, honestly, I kind of like them. There's a new death that comes in this pack because your sims can get bitten by a rat, get sick, and then die. And I think it might be one of my favorite deaths in the game, so I, again, have complicated feelings about my first pet stuff. I also think it was a big mistake to release this straight after Cats and Dogs came out, because it kind of felt like they were withholding stuff that could have been in Cats and Dogs and then making us pay extra for it later. I just don't think we would have been as upset had it come out like three, four years later, as opposed to like three, four months later. My plan for today, though, honestly, it, it's just to play with rats. My first pet stuff came with this absolutely terrifying rodent costume. It also came with what I would consider potentially equally terrifying build mode stuff. I really don't know what they were doing with this one, because some of these things are genuinely scary. Like, what? what is that? I mean, it's like a hamster chair, but why, why does it look like that? <laughs> a lot of this stuff is definitely very silly. We have this, like, cat-shaped chair. There's some kind of goofy furniture, like this couch with these kind of silly pillows on it. This is a fish tank table, and I'm not kidding when I say that. Like, it's, it's literally full of fish and they're animated. When you unpause, they swim around in there. It also has some decent pet items. Like if you have cats and dogs, you get a couple extra beds. We've got another litter box. There's dog toys, cat trees, pet bowls. Also, shockingly, these blinds are really good. Like I, I honestly use these a fair amount in my builds. And this rug, I hate to say it, this rug is also kind of good. It has some nice like plain square swatches, but also a couple cute ones like this turtle. But then it has some really random things like this absolutely terrifying light. I've never used that. I will never Ever use that. An activity table, because of course it comes with one. Every single Sims pack at the time came with one of these. <laughs> but it is kind of cute. I hate to say it. Like this, this honestly is kind of an adorable activity table. This whole pack feels kind of like kids furniture-y. Like it's got this little height chart. It has this little mirror. This item is like actually kind of good too. Look at this. So this stuff is good. It's just a really weird pack. It's a weird collection of things. It's a weird like DLC for DLC thing. The whole existence of my first pet stuff is very confusing. Because it does beg the question, like, why isn't this all just in cats and dogs? It all would fit great in cats and dogs. Like, why Why did you do this? You know, I'm kind of even forgetting what came in cast with this pack. What are you doing? <sighs> okay, we have an irrational hatred for the sun. I would be mad at the sun too if I was in this costume, to be honest. It looks unpleasant. Obviously, this comes in the pack. <laughs> this is the main feature of cast. I have not a clue what cast items came. Okay, so we got this t-shirt in a couple swatches? Really? 
<laughs> okay, we have a t-shirt and a couple swatches and the costume. The kids have a different t-shirt and a couple swatches and this little onesie, which to be honest is kind of cute. So maybe that's fine. I, I can accept that. The toddler t-shirt is also kind of cute. I'll give them that too. But then look, we get all this pet clothing and it's actually kind of good pet clothing. But again, if you don't have cats and dogs, you just can't use it. Oh, I didn't notice the dogs and the kids had a matching onesie. Oh, that kind of changes my opinion. <laughs> There's different stuff for the small dogs too. They have a couple other variants. This is an ugly cat. <laughs> They've got a bunch of options for clothing too and a matching onesie. See, that's cute. I am getting so distracted. The main reason that I'm here is because I want to play with a rat. Mostly, I want my sim to die from a rat. <laughs> we got options. We can get a hamster. I can get a pygmy hedgehog, a rat, a void critter. <laughs> I think I gotta go for the rat though. That feels like the obvious choice. We've got options for color scheme, but I think I like the pink one best. And now I have a rat. I used to have a rat named Ratsley in my 100 baby challenge, and I just kept buying it over and over again. Like it would die and then I'd get a new one, and then I would, you know, do the same thing <laughs> just for years. Look at it in there, just staring at me with its creepy little claws. Do you wanna play with it? Well, if I wanna die from rabid rodent fever, I think that I need the rat to hate me so it will bite me. And then I also need its cage to be dirty. So can I cheat that? Oh, I can cheat it to use different things. Use your wheel. Oh, wow. Never tried that. I can't cheat it to be dirty though. I guess we can just wait. <laughs> Should I sleep? You can sleep, Stanley. I'm just gonna keep staring at the rat. I just wanna watch it. It's kind of scary watching it in triple speed. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> They go on adventures and they bring you back postcards. Look at this. I've got a Whiskerman's Wharf postcard. Oh, it says rare. It's worth 30 simoleons. That's not too bad. I actually made an entire video where I tried to get rich off of rats. <laughs> Um, I can link that down below if you want to watch it. But I just like exclusively made money from selling postcards they brought me. Oh, I can cheat our relationship to be bad. I know that's terrible of me, but I want the rat to hate me. Despised. <laughs> Things have gone awry with this relationship. Can it be salvaged? Um, I don't really think so. I'm kind of hoping that you'll kill me, so <laughs> I'm gonna take that as a no, it cannot be salvaged. I'm just making him sleep until the cage gets dirty. Except he keeps getting upset from having weird dreams. The high maintenance trait is so much. Worst day ever. All right. Look, I'm sorry to tell you, but it is about to get worse. As soon as this rat's habitat is dirty, you're doomed. Oh, <gasps> yes. Oh my God. The rat's cage is dirty. I just watched it turn dirty. <laughs> that just made my day. Okay. I guess now I need to just pick up the rat a few times. Maybe if I try and play with it. We want it to bite me. That's the main goal here. So hopefully because it hates me, it will do it. Oh my God. Look how creepy that is. Bite me. Bite me. Bite me. Bite me. Don't just put up with it, Ratsley. Bite me. Oh, <gasps> yes. Oh my God. Oh, that was kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> it like flung itself at me. Bite-sized bite from rodent bite. Ouch, that was just a little nibble, but it's a lot of pain. I wanna see if I can get bit again, just in case. I'm not positive that I like, yeah, I got bit again. I'm not positive that it always turns into a disease. So I'm just gonna hope. I guess if I leave the cage dirty, I can always try again. <gasps> Feeling fuzzy, transmissible rodent disease. Stanley doesn't feel so good. His head is pounding and he can't shake this cough. Oh my God. Stanley's head is starting to ache and there's a little tickle in the back of his throat. It seems he may have contracted a serious sickness. I've never been so excited in my life. Okay, I guess I'll just let him sleep again. We could keep trying to sleep it off until it gets worse. It becomes fuzzy fever in 14 hours. Oh, I should probably feed the rat though. I don't want it to die. Hold on, fill food, fill food. Oh, tomorrow's harvest fest. I think you'll probably make it that far at least, Stanley. You've got a couple days. <laughs> <laughs> this death is not instant. We have to wait for the disease to develop. Fuzzy fever, transmissible rodent disease. Stanley's cough has turned into a full-blown fever. Those dizzy spells can't be a good sign and he's losing control of his bladder. Uh-oh. He should research his fever on a computer to find a cure. Becomes rabid rodent fever in 21 hours. Well, I won't be doing that. <laughs> so if you choose to, you can research it to try and like, you know, fix it. Um, I think that sounds boring. So I, I won't do that actually. This happened to me once one time by accident and it was the greatest thing that I've ever experienced. I was playing in my legacy challenge and my sim got bit by the rat and I didn't realize it. And so when he got sick, I, I could have helped him. I just chose not to because I thought it would be more fun. And the beauty of this is that when your sim dies of this disease, their ghost is wearing this costume. Even if your sim wasn't, their ghost is like this costume, but foaming at the mouth. So now whenever I get haunted by him, <laughs> this thing shows up. I almost want to change Stanley back into his regular clothes so we can see the full effect. This costume's kind of hiding my face. It's nice, but I just don't think that it works for our particular purposes. This is just better. Yeah, that feels a lot more natural. Okay, <laughs> back we 
go. He does have to pee a lot, huh? Again? You just did it! Like two seconds ago! Well, it becomes rabid rodent fever in two hours. Oh no. Transmissible rodent disease. It's a full-blown outbreak of rabid rodent fever. Stanley looks delirious and he's dangerously contagious. His condition is rapidly deteriorating. He should use a computer to research his illness. Oh my god. Or consult with a veterinarian immediately. <laughs> Worst day ever. Yeah, that actually is valid. Failure to seek help could result in grave consequences. Death in 23 hours. Okay, so last time I did this, when it told me that my sim was contagious, it was in my legacy challenge. Obviously, I did not want other sims to get sick because I'm like not trying to kill my entire legacy family. At this current moment, I am interested in killing another sim from this. Oh, not Ash though. I like them. Where's like Jeffrey Landgrab when you need him, you know? No, that's just the male person. I'm not gonna do it to you. Well, I could probably clean the rat's habitat now. <laughs> no need to make you suffer. You helped me. There, I fed it a treat too. Well, should we see what it looks like when we try and research on a computer? I won't do it. I would way rather have him die, but we could at least try just so that we can like, you know, fully say we did the experiment. Web research, rabid rodent fever. No, okay, well that's easy. Oh, he's very sick. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry to make you all look at that. Yeah, he does not seem to be doing well. Yeah, so last time, oh, Sam, oh, it's Hugo. No, I still want to kill someone more exciting. Anyway, last time I literally locked my Sim in his bedroom. He didn't even have a toilet because I didn't want him to infect anybody else. I'm not sure if that was a good idea or not. I don't really know how contagious it is. <gasps> oh my god, Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, add Sim to family. I just knew this guy is always walking around over here. I see him all the time. But I don't really know when it says contagious, if it's like actually contagious. Do you want to discuss interests? Tell a funny story. We'll see if I get sick from this. This is all about experimenting. I'm doing this for science. Oh, Stanley dislikes stories. <laughs> okay. Well, you won't have to hear too many more of them, so don't worry. Unpleasant surroundings? What about this is unpleasant to you? Seems nice to me. Should I like romance him? Oh, we have good compatibility. <gasps> and he's got bad compatibility with Nancy. Oh, that just made my day. Maybe if I kiss him, I can be transmitted the disease. Oh, things are not working. Okay, oops. Well, Stanley only has 14 hours left. Awful holiday. <laughs> Unpleasant surroundings. Awkward encounter. Worst day ever. Death in 14 hours. <laughs> the poor guy is struggling. Oh, he's cleaning. You know what? Thank you, Jeffrey. That's really nice of you. Maybe I'll have Jeffrey research the fever. I think he can research it. The only thing is you have to buy the cure, and I think it's like a thousand simoleons. Rabid rodent fever is a dangerous disease. Left untreated, it results in death. As the conditions of the patient worsen, the disease mutates into an airborne contagion, which spreads to other sims in close Close proximity. Thankfully, help is available. Use a computer to order a rodent remedy. You can choose to order a cure or to inoculate yourself against future outbreaks. Oh, really? Purchase rodent remedy. Oh yeah. Okay, so we can <laughs> we can get a vaccine or we can get a cure. I don't really want them, to be honest. Um but good to know. 500 and 800 simoleons, all right? Well, if it's airborne, how come he hasn't gotten it yet? I'm gonna keep talking to him. Well, it's not going that well. <laughs> Oops. They said it was contagious. It can't be that contagious. Nothing's happening. Thank you, Ratsley. The doctors at Sacred Spleen Memorial Hospital wish to express their gratitude to Ratsley. This year, a fully functioning ear was grown on Ratsley's back, which was then transferred to a sim. Are you sure you want it? He's diseased. Okay, well, Stanley is squeamish now too. <laughs> it gave me the pop-up. I said yes. Death in six hours. How should we spend our final moments? Feeding the rat, maybe? You could probably clean the house, too. Headachey. Stanley's brain feels about three and a half sizes too large for the headspace provided. Yeah, it's just getting worse, buddy. I'm sorry. Death in two hours. <laughs> oh, I feel kind of guilty. Poor Stanley has to do so much for me. He's just like the tester of all tester sims. I put him through a lot. <gasps> Death in 34 minutes. Oh my god. We need to like look at him up close. Can you not die in there? It would be super nice if you could die in here because then I could get some better screenshots. Thank you. Okay, death in 21 minutes. <laughs> Should we just zoom in on him? I don't know. I want to know when it's gonna happen. <gasps> Stop. Come back. Oh, he's not doing well. Death in five minutes. Four. Three. Oh my god. Two. One. Uh-oh. Stanley Humphrey is foaming at the mouth as he succumbs to end-stage rabid rodent fever. Oh, it's actually scary. I forgot how bad it was. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Okay. Oh, calm down, Jeffrey. As if you care. You hated him. Are you sick? Oh, he's not sick. I only added you to my household so that I could try and get you sick too. They said it was contagious. Hi, Grim. Thank you. Bye, Stanley. Okay, well now I can get his ghost so I can show you. Watch this. Add ghost to household. Look, isn't that so creepy? <laughs> it puts him in the rat costume and it's foaming at the mouth. Imagine this thing haunting you in the middle of the night. This is the scariest ghost out of all of them. Every single death type in this game has like a special ghost variant. Like if your sim drowns, the ghost drips puddles. If they die of anger, they're like steamy. 
knee. If they die of rat disease, they um, are a diseased rat. It's awful. It's truly awful. But do you see why I feel conflicted about my first pet stuff? Like the build's weird, the cast is weird, the existence of it is weird, but also, I mean, this is good. This is fun. <laughs> so I just don't know how to feel. I can't recommend you buy this pack. Truly, I, I can't. But um, if you ever need to, to uh, kill a sim in a fun and exciting way, perhaps my first pet stuff could be worth the money. <laughs> On that note, I think I'm gonna end this video right here. If you wanna watch that video where I tried to make money off of rats, I'll link that on the end card. Let me know what your thoughts on my first pet stuff are down below. Are you also a little bit swayed by the death? Cause deep down, this pack is so stupid. It's, it shouldn't exist, but like rabbit rodent fever, you know? Happy April Fool's Day. Uh, I hope you enjoyed revisiting this joke of a pack and I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. That was so much fun for me. I'm gonna be honest. I had a rough morning. This just completely changed the whole vibes of the day. Things are good again.